This is so nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, how does it look? Let's find out. The coolant tank cracked, had to replace that. Um, batteries were shot, so I had to put two new batteries in. I mean, I'm gonna start it up and see what happens. What do you think's gonna happen?
finally gonna get some projects done some big projects i'm doing a happy dance right now <laughs> Come here. Come here, Kai. I can see all its legs and everything. It's coming to the light. It's bathing in the light. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm cooking outside in the deck now. Because we have a new cooktop that we have to make next to the sink, so. Nicole's dad gifted us this and it's been been crucial but now it's kind of needs to go over to if we host the woofer they can use it as a cooktop truthfully 90 percent of the time right now we cook on top of the wood stove as you see us do like the soup so potatoes and vegan sausage and onion and spices paprika, paprika. smells really good did you use that tofu in there tofu cool your breath i can see your breath oh no not anymore <laughs> right there yeah, look at those mountains behind you. Hey everybody, today is the day. It's a big day. A day for what? For taking down trees. <laughs> so, I don't know if people can see. There's two alders right there. This one and that one. They're gonna come down and we're gonna use those for firewood because in this area, alder is like bamboo, considered a very fast growing, renewable resource that's always the first tree to rapidly take over a cleared area so there's alder everywhere along the old logging road because 40 years ago they would have cleared this area and put this road in and all the alder stuck to the road yeah and you guys have seen that we got our van finally up and running so we're ready to do this we've we've been waiting for a long time so chocolate thunder will be back i just got to replace the brake lines and yeah. i'm waiting for those to come in so having these trees down is a huge step because that means we can work on the washroom, we can work on the hippie hot tub. So enough talking about it. Let's just, let's do it. We got to rip the bandaid off and just but, take them down. So let's do it. But we get one shot at this. There's no like, this is a professional golf tournament and you got to hit it right the first time. There's no second shot. Where the van goes is way far down. We're talking like a 20 foot elevation change. So when I tie a pulley onto the tree and then pull the tree down with a van, we have to use two pulleys because this is super high, the van is super low, and the rope will drag on the ground, which it can't do. So we have to go from this tree to a high point of another tree 
two pulleys to the van. You'll see. Yeah, let's do this. Wish us luck. <laughs> Knock it all the way off the stump. Ooh, we're safe. Okay, pulley number two. Like, honestly... You feel like if that was tied to the van, not to you, that would be strong enough to pull this tree over this way?
That's good. The tree we want to move, do you see it moving at all right now? Yeah, the rope's moving. Is the tree moving? Yeah, it actually is. I mean, the branches are swaying a little bit. Good. It's tightening up. Is that tight? One more. No, it looks great. It's actually bending the tree. That's so tight. So seeing what you just saw, do you think our odds of success? What do you think? I think we could be pretty successful. Was it bending the tree away from the yurt? In the direction that we want it to go, yeah. Okay. If you saw that, then that's, that gives me a lot of confidence. Okay, I'm in the van. This is it. I'm really confident. I feel like it's going to be successful. It's pulling it really nicely, but you never know what could happen. So fingers crossed. This is so nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> but I have the dogs with me and the cats are in their little home outside, not in the yurt. So if anything does happen, um, are we going to be successful, you guys? Are we going to be successful? Did we do it right? Okay, babe, pull it forward a little bit. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay, stop there. <laughs> Someone needs to film your face right now. Whoa. That just like let in so much more light. 
Wow. Will the forest gods forgive us? I think what we're gonna bring to this forest, they will. And, and that's an alder. It's the fastest growing, most renewable tree there is. That was so loud. Come here. <laughs> Down. But that was the most, that was the one that was leaning toward the yurt for the last year. That was where every wind, I was worried it was going to drop on the yurt. Look how much light it let in. Wow. And the alder is the best for smoking food and for firewoods. We have both. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Success. And the back dirt road's taking our break and uh, we're uh, doing the bike thing and yeah. gonna do some salmon berries along the way. Brought my basket. Nice. Well, this one's a perfect. Dude, this is a huge. Let's see. Let's see, these ones are a lot like orangish yellow whoa and then over here so pretty all right let me put the camera down to help you and we'll get a little harvest going on okay. I don't think ready. these are some of the nicest ones i've ever seen they're so plump and juicy my lady Thank you. Babe. Babe. What? These are the size of normal salmon berries. Mm-hmm. Then these are the size of the ones that I just found. Holy moly, those are huge. Look at this one. <laughs> wow, it's huge. Put it on top. It's by far the biggest, yeah? Yeah. Wow. This basket is so colorful. Looks great. Nice basket. Thanks. Nice jacket. <laughs> I'm trying not to crash. <laughs> yeah. It's seriously as big as my head. It's not as big as your head. Well, definitely as big as my nose. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, I mean, my nose is not too big, but come on. That's the biggest salmon berry we've ever picked. Don't you think? Yeah. Right, here we go. It's like fish eggs. This could be uh, sushi. Is it good? It's delightful.